Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you would like to hear more of my commentary as well as have your notifications bell turned on. I have paint on my hands. So if you see white up on my hands, it's paint. I am going to be briefly, very briefly giving my humble opinion as to why I believe Kevin Samuel's sexuality is such a large topic or should I say an ongoing discussion on YouTube and across social media in general. I have a few reasons why I personally believe <laughs> that um, he may or may not be a member of the LGBTQ plus community. He may not be the, you know, high earning heterosexual straight man that he claims to be to his audience. The reason why I believe black women are so concerned about his sexuality is because he has kind of came up off of bashing us, right? So he has really been able to create a following talking to black women, like talking to them when they call in to his show, as well as giving commentary about black women, um, just to the general audience, you know, talking about us, you know, evaluating us, coming up with different reasons as to why we are single and why many of us will die alone, you know, the whole thing. I think that whenever you start off harshly critiquing and criticizing Black women um, in particular, you're going to have people starting to really pay attention to you and watch you very, very closely. You're going to have to be very, <laughs> very, very um, put together yourself if that's what you're going to be doing. So, you know, just what happens is you're going to draw a lot of attention to yourself. So a lot of his mannerisms, a lot of, you know, his old photos, you know, have been resurfacing from his teens even. And there's very clear that there's some type of effeminate um, uh, vibe that they are giving off in some of his current photos. He gives off the same type of vibe. Um, I'm not going to so much focus on his style and, you know, him being, you know, being able to be classified as metrosexual because that alone does not make him gay. I have seen metrosexually dressed men and have not questioned their sexuality. So that is not really what it is. It's not the, the purses, the man bags and, and, and all that. That's not really it. But that along with his mannerisms oftentimes can very much convey that there's something going on there that we may not, you know, that he may not be being very honest about. But aside from like those little things, like things that would trigger your, your, your gaydar and like those type of situations, right? Black women know that the type of black men that follow Kevin Samuels, that really support him and keep his, keep his name alive in the streets, black women understand that those type of black men are usually homophobic as well, right? So they're usually the type of black men who feel certain ways about people who are part of the LGBT community. And if they found out that their uh, representative, you know, <laughs> Someone that they look up to and 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 hang on and cling on to his every word and and look at his commentary as you know real substantial guidance. If it came out that this person that they're listening to was gay, a lot of black men in droves would no longer support his commentary. Black women know that about black men. They know that you know this person who they're putting in leadership would not have the same position if they knew that he was queer or homosexual. So I think that is really what is a driving force behind <laughs> all of these people asking Kevin Samuels to come out allegedly and, and you know, you know, making sure that, you know, he's honest about his sexuality. I'll say this. I was a former commercial print model and I was around a lot of older gay men due to uh, being in the modeling industry. And they were just as critical, just as harsh, you know, just as mean-spirited at times as Kevin Samuels. And so a lot of times when I listen to his commentary and, you know, I hear clips and I hear, you know, the way that he's speaking to people, it reminds me of the same type of mentality. And I remember in the past, one of my um, older videos that I have about him, I called him bitter. And at the time, because I didn't, you know, really pay much attention to him or know that much about him other than the video that went viral at the time, I thought that he was just, you know, bitter, right? A bitter old man. But now it has me thinking that why a part of his 
bitterness could be attached to the fact that he may not feel that he can really be himself allegedly and still have the audience that he has. And I think just like black women, Kevin Samuels knows that his audience would not accept his commentary, would not give him the credence that they give him if they thought that he was gay. Say if he is gay, I don't believe that he would ever come out honestly and say it and own it because that would change, you know, the rate of his success regarding being a social media personality and entertainer. While there are probably some black men that will probably still, you know, enjoy him and still support him, I think the, the majority of them would not. I think they would not uh, look at him and trust what he says anymore. So now I wanna talk about the video that went viral a few months ago where Kevin Samuels was having, you know, one of his live shows. He was talking to a female caller and in the middle of their conversation, there was this quote unquote glitch that happened that showed a male with covers over his shoulder leaning on the bed like this sleep. And, you know, it was, you know, while he was rolling live, so he, you know, was not able to edit this out, of course. He just don't know no better. Bless his heart. Baby Yoda. Anywho, what you got for me? How old are you, by the way? 44. 44. So, you know, remember them kids. See, boys like that used to put them in, we put, we put them in the special ed class when we were coming up. We can't use the words we used to use. But anyway, what do you got for me? Black women, what are you willing to do to save our community? Um, I've been thinking about this, but I think that we need to have more patience um, okay. when it comes to um, dealing with our men or just in general. Uh -huh. And I, I think that with having more patience, then um, hopefully that will lead to better results down the road, um, even and allow us to do better in challenging times. Mm-hmm. What the heck just happened here? <laughs> Somebody's sleeping in their bed. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, glitch in the system. Have a having um more patience with your men. Are you and so he quickly switches it back to focusing on him sitting at his desk in his chair and he refers to it as a glitch. And I guess the rest of the show, you know, goes on and, you know, you know, and the, for, for the time being that this came out, that was acceptable. But as of course, as the weeks went on, people started to make their commentary about it and question like, hmm, okay, so why, how would this be a glitch, right? This kind of excuse that his uh, followers are making that someone paid this, you know, someone to do this or that his his live was hacked and that's how, no, like, <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works. Like, person sitting in the bed is from a different angle in his room. The lighting was the same, you know, the same color on the walls. So it looks like it was just another part of the room that he was filming in. That really doesn't work. That doesn't really, you know, pan out that excuse or should I say the explanation that his fan base is giving for him? You know, and then he goes on Tasha K's show and he talks about how all his life people have thought he, you know, thought he was gay, um, allegedly based off of, you know, different things that he was doing when he was, you know, he was, I believe he was a, a male cheerleader. You know, people have always been accusing him of being homosexual. And, you know, really at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter whether he is or isn't gay. It shouldn't matter if he you know, is queer allegedly, it really shouldn't matter. You know, it's 2021, that shouldn't be a factor anymore. If someone is speaking something that is truthful and, you know, relevant and meaningful and has value, they should be treated the same regardless of their sexuality. I just think, again, because Kevin Samuels is very critical and claims to be this expert on, you know, uh, heterosexual relationships and particularly in the black community and you know he's very critical and very unforgiving when it comes to analyzing other people's problems and issues you would think that he would at least be able to be honest about whatever it is that he wants or whatever it is that he's doing or whatever lifestyle that he's living but he's not very you know forthcoming about the information so I think that's ultimately what's going on here I really don't care like for me personally I don't really care I find myself 
and a more neutral space concerning Kevin Samuels. I don't think Kevin Samuels is like the downfall of the black community, you know, the way other people make him seem. I I'm not going to give him that much credit. Like, I'll give this man way too much credit. Seriously. Like, he's just a man talking. Uh, there will be other ones just like him. You know, look at Tommy Sotomayor. For a couple of years, he was like the known troll of the internet. Black women's biggest troll, black women's biggest hater. And now, he's nowhere to be found. So, not saying that would happen to Kevin Samuels, but I'm just saying people come and go and when you ride the hate, you know, the hate black women train, eventually you, you reach a stop. That's the reality. A lot of times when I'm in these discussions, whether it's on Clubhouse or Facebook, and people are talking about Kevin Samuels talking points, right? You'll have a, a very interesting typical type of Kevin Samuels fan who will make a post about Kevin Samuels in order to trigger a whole bunch of uh, conversation and comments and, you know, replies on their posts, right? Then you'll have those type of men, you know, jumping in. Yeah, you know, Kevin Samuels, he, you know, he could tell all you bitches off and all you black women, he, you know, he, he, y'all just hate him because he tells the truth about black women. You know, the typical Kevin Samuels zealot response, right? And then you'll have some black men who will come on there and say things like, oh, well, you know, I, you know, Kevin Samuels is Kevin Samuels. Like, I agree with some of his talking points, but others I don't. But, you know, I just look at him as entertainment. I just think he's funny. Those are two very different types of black men. Very, very different types. Even when you start looking at the type of women who follow him, because again, they're looking for that authority. They're looking for someone to tell them what to do. They're looking for some answers. They may not have like, you know, a father figure or someone in their lives they can really get those answers from. So they find themselves gravitating to Kevin Samuels. They see other black men gravitating to Kevin Samuels. And if they're looking to be with black men, they're like, well, hey, I'm gonna listen to the man black men is listening to, right? Then you have women like me who are like, okay, well, um, Kevin Samuels is funny, he's entertaining. That's pretty much all that it is. Um, no, there's a lot of things I think that he says that is that is absolutely ridiculous. I think he definitely brings some toxicity in and just fuels the whole gender wars that's been going on. Um, but you know, he's fine. Again, two very different types of people who are, um, you know, interacting with his content. And I think those people who are clinging on to him for dear life are those same people who would have an issue with his sexuality if it ever came out, allegedly, that he was not um, heterosexual. They would have an issue for the kind of the same reasons and the same mindset that keeps them single and sexually frustrated and alone and, you know, stops them from, from picking the right people for themselves. So I, I just think that you really have to look at the people who are defending him so much and, and, and really think about why. So that's really what I think about the whole thing. Whether Kevin Samuels likes men or women is, is irrelevant to me, but... Those are the reasons why I think it matters to other people, um, including his supporters. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment below if you are feeling what I'm saying or if you're not feeling what I'm saying. Don't forget to give my video a like and a thumbs up. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.